Live WBRU, the homebrewed six-pack with some music from Rash called A Christmas Song. And here they are. They're still here. I tried to get them to leave during the song, but, but they're still here. To. They're still here, right. And first off, I'd like to say hi to everybody at 3 Steeple Street, my place of employment. I love each and every one of you. Thank you, Bob. Good. You Don't you want to say hi to anybody, um, though? I, I got I to gotta do some fact-checking here. Um, okay. Rumor has it, Carl, that Carl was seen... Carl or Bob? Bob. Bob. Me. I was Bob seen there. Bob was seen at Glow. Is this correct? That's Gorgeous right. ladies yeah, of wrestling. Right. And I got I got to tell you, got to let the secret out here. Not only was he seen at Glow, but the reason we know I that he was at ring. Glow... No, he wasn't in the ring, but the reason we know he was at Glow is because he was spotted by our very own Karen. Who now has a personally autographed copy of Mount Fiji's <laughs> or, what, autobiography called... So it's true. Karen was at Glow. Fiji. It's true. Karen was at Glow. Bob was at Glow. It was all pretty ugly. And I um, was just told that, that they're not really fighting. I can't believe that. Well, Bob, I don't know who the hell informed you about that, but they were really fighting in that ring. All let's right. talk well, about the Yankee, though. I want to talk about let's the talk Christmas about, song. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about the Christmas song. It's, well, it's important in what's going on tomorrow. First of all, uh, we decided to use our resources as a band, and we got together with Viled Records Resources as a record company, which is our label. And um, we joined up with the Bandwagon Organization, which um, basically is like a kind of a public relations awareness um like foundation would you say that gives away um you know their time and energies every year to um bring awareness to america's homeless and people who are hungry and works with uh local charities like uh, amos house and the rhode island food bank and also um you know just anything that they can help with to so they, we decided to give the full profits of the christmas song to this and tomorrow night we're having uh, a special record release party for this 12 inch single that's available in all your stores now and um, admission is only three fifty, and it's all going to the charity cause. And no one can go unless they know where it is. It's and it's at room. the living room. They also can throw some money at us on stage if they like. No, I don't want them to do that. Why not? Because um, I got hit with a quarter last week, and it hurt. <laughs> Um, it's worth it, All right, so down at the living room tomorrow night. Right, and, and start come at 9, because they're also showing a 30-minute documentary that they did on the band um, okay. about this cause, etc. So it'll kind of put it into proper perspective. Terrific. All right, so that's tomorrow night at the living room. Make sure right. to go down and uh, catch that one. And also, if later on, they should come and see us. We're at the American Cafe right now, so come on down and have a No, you're here call. right now. No, I'm. No, we're, we're at the oh my God! <laughs> I can't believe it. When did you guys bring me here? <laughs> Missed the short-term memory. <laughs> Just a couple of minutes ago. I'm sorry. Go ahead. All right. Um, well, we're going to be playing some new stuff uh, from the new record, and that's going to be released in January. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Right. It's uh, LP. It's All right. Good. Tell me something about it. Uh, well, it's called Shell Shocked Ride, and um, it should have been out in October. <laughs> But, but it's not. But it's not because it's be? because our video is not done yet. This is really the, I can't believe that we have a For video real? anyway. Yeah, All right. the video is being we're gonna have CDs, animated. Believe it or not. Yeah, it's going to be on. I don't TV. believe that. I don't no. believe it either. Oh, but yeah. It's true. It's happening. Okay. But they, I can't afford it anyway, so I'm not going to. The Cities Rise to Fall down. video is animated. That's the first single. Mm -hmm. And they want to be able to release it. And because it's animation and it's 24 frames per second, it means that you have thousands, you know, a lot of pictures. A lot of drawings to color in. So huh. they're not quite done with it yet. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, we're going to play uh, the first cut. Is that right? Off of, this, off of the mm -hmm. new album? Save Face. It's called Save Face. You want to give a little background mm -hmm. to the song? Oh, basically, it's about a woman that's breaking somebody's heart. It's about as simple as it gets. All right. And, uh, all it's right. It's not the album. <laughs> yeah, really, it doesn't. The album isn't very happy whatsoever. Very depressing. I love it. Okay. Well, this is uh, Rash, and the song is called Save Face. It's off their new album, and you're hearing it here first on the Homebrewed Six Pack, 95.5 WBRU. <laughs>
Rash with a song called Save Face on BRU's homebrewed six-pack. And uh, we got Rash right here in the studio with us. And they're, they're staring ominously at me. They're all going to sort of I'm not. You know, leap up and <laughs> do something awful. You're the leader. Well, I'll tell you what. Putting the hedge of rock and roll. I'll tell you what. I'll let tell me you ask what, you I bet you're going to play two commercials. Right? Yeah. You must be able to. You must be a. Uh, I'm pretty psychic. Girl. Psychic. I've been told. Right. Well, I, 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 I let him know beforehand. We're going to play two commercials. And we're going to come right back and talk to Rash some more. Okay. OG, hold me back. Pizza, 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 pizza. Yeah. We're back at WBRU. <laughs> people, are just, people are just yelling things in the microphone. And not paying any attention to me when I ask them to be quiet. You know, I hate when that happens. All right. Um, John, how do you develop those runs in your stockings? So, John, what are you doing as like anyway? You have nothing better to do? See, okay, <laughs> okay. let me explain. Uh, let me explain. I I'm in charge here. I'm going to explain. Okay. Um, Karen dropped by because uh, she wanted to say hi, and she wanted to check you know, check you guys out and make sure you weren't doing anything too wild here in the studio. Actually, she just wanted to go over a couple of the matches at the Glow Show. That's right. Because she thought someone else the had play gone, and play. I thought play someone else play. had actually beat that one woman. You know? It was a sports discussion. Go right? over the play-by-play. -play. So Karen dropped by. Scream hello. Hey! Right, it's Karen. It is. You can do voice identification and everything and figure it out. All right, we're talking to Rash here on the Homebrewed Six Pack. And uh, yeah. i got to ask you guys... Uh, <laughs> What do you do for fun? You know, you sit, you're, you sit here and you're so solemn. You know, I have this well, feeling. Basically, the most fun that I have all over the last two years of my life, the best fun I've had has been washing <gasps> dishes. Uh-huh. Washing dishes can be, oh, it's... You can't beat it, huh, Bob? It's it pays well. I mean, you know, when people come into the restaurant... You get good and dirty and you have... I mean, you know, and, and some of the people I work with, I just tell them, hey, can I come home? Do you have any dirty stuff at your house that I can wash? I said, sure, Bob, come on over. I said, all right, man, I'll be there. He's always invited over people's houses. They, he washes their dishes. It's great. That's, uh, yeah, what, that's we, what I like to do with my weekends. You know, you got any extra I'm laundry? Not, I'm not poking fun, Brian. I do love my job. Okay. I have some more money, Brian, all right? Actually, as a group, we like to go down to the train station at night and watch them clean the clock. They do it every Wednesday at about 2 o'clock in the morning. They get the, the stuff up there. How do okay, I get myself fun. into these situations? Well, then if you hang around till about 8 o'clock and hang around the men's room, then... Yeah, then they start doing the tile floors. floors. <laughs> 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 you want to know what that laugh just did to the microphone levels here? <laughs> yeah, good. All right, well, uh, out. let me ask you guys, who are your, who are your uh, musical influences? I haven't tell you mm. myself, but I think these guys... You're do. a fit, but you got some. Uh, I, I, Who do you guys to like make, to listen to? I let him, I let him go. Besides uh, yourself. Well, as Tony, as Tony listen, Liucci quoted me three years back, I listen to the Beatles every day. <laughs> 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 but I, No, I still listen to the Beatles quite a bit. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, originally Beatles, you know, some Sex Pistols influenced, you know, when they first came out. Um, you Who? You Who, yeah. They influenced the, the replacements. Alien yeah, Sex Fiends? Um... And, you know, even old people now, it's funny. It's, it's I used like, to hate Joy Division. Carl was a big Joy Division freak, and then I started buying Joy Division. Was I freaky, I'm man? Saying, yeah. Wow, this is great, because it's like, told you, man. Local so bands I, I really enjoy us, too. Other local bands. I mean, influence is like more or less like, you know, if they're doing it, it motivates us to do it. The like, girls from Glow? All right. The girls you know, from like, You know, like guys like that will learn you, um, mm -hmm. or, or Neutral Nation, or what now, or just our peers in general. Even the horns, the guys we play with. I mean, just people, tonight we're playing with them. Mm -hmm. But just the bands that, um, they're doing it, too, you know, and it's like, um, once in a while we'll lull back, and then we'll see them do something that's kind of inspiring. We'll go, you know, we can go out and... We do much, much better than they do. <laughs> well, what do you guys think of the, of the Providence oh, wow. local music scene? It's it's um, it it's actually be better. getting better it, because it's getting it, people. <laughs> the people who are surviving, I think, are starting to take themselves seriously. The whole problem with the Providence local music scene is that we we you know Providence band quote unquote, and we have a real eclectic style um, in this state. There is no Providence sound like there might be a Boston garage sound or a Boston funk sound or whatever. But here you know whatever the genre is. But here in Rhode Island, you got everything from like a Duke Robillard and the Pleasure Kings kind of thing to um, to Boston um, like Cutler us. and the Rain Dogs kind of thing to us to Neutral Nation, which is you know. Our, our token, um, you know, punk sounding band, and then, you know, and then everything in between. There's all different mm -hmm. measures of in between. So, and God bless Roy Orbison, and right now I'd like everybody to switch off their radios for one minute. <laughs> no, don't do that. But Later, I was sad like to hear that. That was the bummer. Yeah, was, was, you were talking about other influences. Yeah. Like things like Elvis. I got into like Elvis Presley and, and Roy Orbison a Roy. lot later in mm -hmm. life. Because you know? I was too young have... to know. In a half hour, it's going to be uh, John Lennon's yeah. anniversary of his death. That's right. That yeah, because eight years ago, if you can believe it or which not. We were anniversary. together. Okay. Actually, we were in another band in, the night that that happened. We were, yep. Me and Bob we just definitely went anniversary. out and had, a, had a, a solemn time that evening, as a matter of fact. Yeah, freaky thing. I didn't believe it for us. And, yeah. and then when I hit. Especially when yeah. you saw it on, especially on when Providence. And my buddy Kenny over here called me up right away because he knew I yeah. kind of yeah. had love for John, baby. Remember that, Kev? 
Every year the anniversary happens. I, I can't imagine that it was eight years since and he, that, that since band he that we were shot. playing in at that time was called White Lives. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we started the roster stabbings. Actually, I never really joined the band. And we had a girlfriend in the band, Colada Christie. That's why we don't pay him any money. And um, the band yet. I believe the next song on mm -hmm. the album. Carmela? Yeah. Is it's about uh, Colada. Kind of a little dig at her, even though we still love her, really. All right, well, let's we can listen to the uh, to the dig at Carmela. Is that all right? It's not well, a dig, not a dig, dig at her. I mean, really, we, right. we love her. It's a true story, period. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, this is uh, Rash and a new song called Carmela on WBRU's Thank Over you, Six Billy. Pack. <laughs> WBRU's homebrewed six pack with a song <coughs> called Carmela. And you guys are going to do something live, is that right? Right about now? Well, we're, we're talking about it here. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Just Bob's going to do it because uh, our instruments wouldn't fit through the door of the studio. So. Well, so tell me something about the song that you're going to Well, the doing. song is um, <laughs> it's the flip side of the Christmas song. <laughs> it's a song called Mr. Avery. <clears throat> and basically, it's about um, a guy who dies all by himself and doesn't have anybody. Okay. So I think it's kind of sad. Yeah. Well, take it away. Wrapping up the homebrew well, six-pack we'll here on VRU. Poor Mr. Avery He lived his whole life alone He never could ever call his own Endless days of loneliness Endless times of pain No love left from the children He was left out once again Poor Mr. Avery Margaret never trusted him Although she took her vows just the same She always 
just thought they were someone else. She only had herself to blame for Mrs. Humphrey. Beautiful. It really was. I'm speechless. It's really very nice. Um, I was sitting here thinking of Roy Orbison and getting teary eyed. Getting except, Pondy? Except, yes, except. She's Pondy. Except Roy wasn't lonely. He sang for the lonely, only the lonely, but he wasn't. I was so sad to hear that, boy. That was a loss. All right. Yeah. It was sad. It was a sad day. But, Life was sad. Uh, so on a happy note, though, I mean, people. Depending. It's so a, tell them once more about uh, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, night. Al Gomes and the Bandwagon Organization do a lot of great things. That's one of the reasons why we wanted to participate in it. It didn't take me long to um, uh, talk Mark Melicaro, the president of Wild Records, into participating. Uh, we got Jeff Adams, a local filmmaker, to do an unbelievable 30-minute documentary. And it's all happening tomorrow with our, our really good friends, too. Boneyards on the gig and a band called Beginning to End. And if no one's seen both these bands, especially Boneyards, another real personal favorite of ours, you want to hear a good local band there. All right, so tomorrow night, make sure to head on down to the living room. Well, thanks a lot, guys. It's been yeah, a pleasure. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow night. Okay, and we can go over that um, slam dunk thing I was showing you before. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, well, we're going to get... Uh, the pile driver. I meant pile That's driver. It. We're going to get glow pile. lessons now that, you know, Karen and I are both right here. Slam dunk the fuck. <laughs> slam dunk the fuck. <laughs> slam dunk the fuck. <laughs> Snack and crack. That wasn't Snack scheduled. Snack and crack. Don't get fat. Snack and crack. Don't get fat. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I do my job now? Is it with that? Thing? Oh, I don't know. Let's just walk outside for a while. Right. Oh, 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 oh. See, no, if I wanted to, I could just turn on your mic. Oh, 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 oh. All right, just come All right. see us. We're, we're going to the American Cafe right now. We're going to do another set. And uh, come out and see us and have last call with us. Cause and if you come down, you can hear. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. That's our new song. Right. That's called Corinthian Leather. I quit. <laughs> I quit. I Never mind. All right. Guess what? New music from R.E.M. This one's called Stand. It's off green. And you're hearing it, where you always hear your new music first. The place that you were. The cutting edge of rock. <laughs> 